Uh, my name is Michael, I'm a criminologist from Australia. Um, personal boundaries are really important for kids to think about and young people to think about, but it's also a bit confusing because, you know, adults don't tend to respect the boundaries of young people and children. So particularly our bodily boundaries, you know, adults feel really comfortable picking kids up, carrying them around, um, asking or making kids kiss relatives and cuddle relatives that they don't want to kiss and cuddle. Um, and, you know, when, when we're young, when we're kids, you know, we are made bodily to do, do things and to be places all the time that we don't want to do. But at the same time, we need to understand the importance of um, what we can call like bodily freedom. So the importance that there are lines, there are boundaries with our bodies that should never ever be crossed, that we have an absolute right to something that we call bodily autonomy. So autonomy means freedom. And particularly when we start to think about our body, not just like a physical object, but also as a sexual object, you know, the sexual aspects to our body, um, that we have an absolute right to determine and say and make decisions about sexually what happens to us from the youngest, youngest age. Um, that is so, so important. And that if somebody transgresses, so when I say transgresses, I mean if someone like breaks our rules, so they do things we are uncomfortable with, they try and convince us to do things that we wouldn't otherwise do if they weren't trying to convince us. If somebody's doing that and they're stepping into our space and doing things with our body that we don't like, it is a big red flag. It means that we can't trust that person. It means that that person has probably done the same things to other people before and they will probably do the same things to someone else after us. And this is true when adults um, break our rules, our rules around our bodies. But this is also true with other young people when they break our rules around our bodies or convince us to do things that otherwise, if we were left to our own, you know, our own decisions, we wouldn't choose to do that. Um, if we felt like we had a choice, someone's convinced us to do that. Um, because we have a big problem in relationships between young people and relationships um, between teenagers where, you know, one, one partner is convincing the other partner to do things that that person doesn't want to do. Um, but maybe they're agreeing to go along with it because they want the relationship to continue. They're worried that if they don't say yes, that they're going to break up. These are the sorts of things that, you know, when, when we're young, you know, as, as teenagers, as kids, we can start to flag and say, you know what, this is an issue. It's an issue for me because this is my body, right? I have absolute right to control sexually what happens to my body. But also, if they're doing this to me, they're not just a, a danger to me, they're a danger to other people as well. And that helps us decide, you know, actually, I might need to go and talk to someone about how I'm feeling right now. I might need to say no and, and actually talk to an adult that I trust, um, not just to keep myself safe, um, but to make sure that this doesn't happen to anyone else. <laughs>